The photo sharing website Pinterest has released their top 100 food trends for 2016. Joining me now is my favorite blogger, Casey Schwartz, who wrote about it on her website, All Things Mama. Casey, great to have you Hi, on. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, so, so we've got. Uh, the first one, how to make pour over coffee. What is right. that? Okay, pour over coffee is the type of coffee that a lot of people that really love coffee, they know how to do it. So what you do is you take coffee grounds and a special kind of coffee pot with a nice filter and you pour over slowly hot water over the grounds that dips through and gives the best flavor for the beans and the less bitterness. Okay. Uh, the second one is avocado oil. Oh, avocados are so good, and they're so good for you. So if you can actually buy in the store avocado oil, and you can make mayonnaise with it and um, put it in your salad dressings and things like that. Um, so it's just a really great flavor that is really good for you. Yeah, and I would never think about mm -hmm. putting uh, avocados, uh, you know, maybe avocado spread on my, my right. sandwich or whatever, but that's yeah, not. Sounds I, really good. I think it'll be good. And I'm going to try to make the mayonnaise. I've not made that. Mayonnaise, okay. Right. I've tried to make real mayonnaise, and honestly, I'm not really great at it. But I've I can't it. believe you said that. <gasps> I know. Seriously. No, now I need to mess it. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> uh, DIY infused oils. Oh, okay. So these are the kind of oils that you cook with. So you can go to gourmet stores, and they have a ton of oils um, with different flavors that cost a lot of money, mm. but you actually can do them at home for less using olive oil or your favorite type of um, oil that you put on your salads. And there's a whole process that you can go through on my website. You can click over to that website that shares it. Yeah. Well, Pinterest had a hundred of them, and so we're right. just breaking down the, the, yes. the more popular ones. Right. Slow cooker recipes. The slow cooker is so great because you can have foods ready, um, get them ready in the morning, and they're ready in the the evening and the new thing is is that you do the whole 30 whole 30 is a program that a lot of people are doing where they cut out processed foods and any kind of additives or anything that would cause an allergy hmm. and so it's just all natural real food and you I, put it in your crock pot I have never heard of that but yeah. I did just purchase a, a new crock pot a okay. bigger one I got oh, on good. sale after Christmas do a big roast with potatoes and carrots yeah oh, that's my favorite way so, to do that trying to get into more healthy mm -hmm. eating uh, right. the next one for minute foods to make mm -hmm. this year I I'm not really you know I've not made fermented foods that is new to me but people will put in a jar and you'll do you can do like cucumbers you know like you would pickle them but sure. they do other things so they make kefir which is like a dairy type of thing yeah um and all different foods that one's new to me is so that like vinegar maybe that yeah they do vinegar and spices and um and water and and then it stays longer with less with no preservatives no mm. uh, artificial preservatives i should say so you don't have to put it in the fridge you can just store it in your pantry i think you store it in your pantry and then once you open it you put it in your fridge but okay. it will stay in your fridge a lot longer than other products will. Oh, sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Fruit infused water. Now, I just got onto the yeah. infused water bandwagon. Mm, yes. I use like cucumber and mint. Oh, yes. But I haven't tried fruit yet. Yeah, so what's really great is you can buy pitchers that are made to infuse or even water bottles, and you can actually put the fruit into the little basket, pour your water over, drink it all day. Or, like the picture that they just had on there, is what they do is they take like a mason jar love mason jars, put the fruit in there, close it up, and just leave it, and then drink it throughout the day. Oh, okay. And yeah, I, and I, I I don't know why so many women, so many of us, don't even like the taste of water. I don't know. We don't like, not that it really has a taste, but right. it's just it's just kind of blah, just kind of boring. It is, and I love water, but once you flavor it up, it at least gives you a little variety. So maybe you have your fruit water in the morning, and you have your cucumber with your lunch. And That's true. And your That's mint true. with dinner. Yeah, I mean, I at the very least, I have to have lemon with my water. Yeah. Something there. Uh, next is... Uh, Homemade beer recipes. I'm sure the guys like this one. <laughs> <laughs> they probably do. But if you go to my site, there's a pen there, and it takes you to another website that has a million. It's not a million, but you know, like there's 10 recipes, um, I believe. Oh, 13. 13. 13 recipes on how to make your beer at home from easy to more complicated. Hmm, okay. More and people are going back to the basics. And we only have time for one more. Okay. Healthy lunch ideas. I love this one. Right. And the photos were just like. Oh, I know. So really, it's important to have a really great lunch. If you pack your lunch at home, put it in one of these cool little bins boxes you can buy them even the plastic ones at Target and you just fill it full of your favorite foods take it with you you always have a healthy lunch to go yeah so pre-planning is key especially pre for, for right. the healthy lunches right. Casey as always thank you so much for thank being you. here <laughs> to check out Casey's blog about the top food trends in 2016 head to allthingsmama.com and click on my blog at the top of the home page